objective of this video is to demonstrate a technique for obtaining a FACEBO transfer record with a CAVO Arcus FACEBO. The record will relate the upper occlusal plane to the campers plane within 10 degrees plus or minus. It will also help in obtaining an effective mounting for diagnosis and treatment planning. For individuals with uneven ear heights or abnormal cranial posture, additional records may be necessary to supplement what's going to be seen on the articulator. These would include a stick bite and or facial photographs. Great. Here's the armamentarium for the face bow record. First you'll need a heat source. Use a hot water bath or a bowl of hot water or an APT burner. You're also going to need cotton rolls, base plate wax, a bite fork, scissors, the joint piece for the face bow, and a face bow. I'm going to try this with face bow. Is that okay with you? Sure. Okay. Okay. Great. Start by attaching the joint piece to the Arcus face bow. Unlock the clamping lever to adjust for facial width and the fixing lever for the nasal support. Next, you'll need a heat source, base plate wax, and the cavo bite fork to register the upper arch. Repair the bite fork by folding heated base plate wax. Heat the wax in a water bath or over an APT burner. Fold the wax. Now fold it again once more. and conform the wax to the upper and lower side of the bite fork. Ensure that the wax is still soft by heating it one more time before going to the patient's mouth. Place the fork in the patient's mouth with the arm of the fork towards the patient's right. Make sure the arm is coming straight forward so that it will not interfere with the face bow joint piece in the next step. Be sure to get an adequate indentation of the upper teeth so that the stone models will orient correctly in the record. Support the fork intraorally with cotton rolls on the lower teeth. Make sure that the fork doesn't rock. Next, slide the fork arm through the hole in the joint piece and move the ear pieces near the ear. Allow the patient to insert the ear pieces in the ears and lock the clamping lever. Slide the subnasal pointer towards the patient until it contacts at the subnasal point. Stabilize the face bow by contacting the nasal support with the nose and locking the fixing lever or have the patient hold the face bow. Hold the joint piece in your left hand while tightening the T-screw of the joint piece with your right hand. Now that the record is complete, Open the levers and slide the ear pieces out of the patient's ears. Gently remove the entire apparatus. Detach the joint piece and take it to the articulator to place on the transfer jig. If you don't use a transfer jig, take the entire face bow with the joint piece attached to the articulator. This completes our demonstration. Remember, excellence is dependent on the quality of the previous step. Thank you.